This entire episode may as well be a 30 minute commercial for Kenya Moore Hair Care. Like how are you going to be a guest on a show and be focused solely on someone you both claim to dislike? This was just wow. Hashtag Warehouse of Atlanta, hashtag Watch What Happens Live, and stop getting so bothered by me. I love that. Someone like Candy would never. Nini and Milo both have businesses. I would have been talking up my boutique and wig line respectfully. Candy would have plugged OLG, her boutique, you know, her YouTube channel, the newest line of Mama Joyce wigs. <laughs> Not Mama Joyce wigs. Oh my God. And everything. What's up, my Fina loves? It's Miss Fina D coming to you all from Fina Entertainment News. <laughs> oh my gosh. Y'all wanted me to review oh, Nini and Milo on Watch What Happens Live. And when I tell you, who is she being dragged in the comments? Okay, now look, we're going to talk about everything that happened. Okay. So just go to watch what happens live on YouTube. I'm sure and he and his people have uploaded all of the short clips for all of you to watch. For those of you who missed, I'm not going to put any in the description below because it's a lot of them. Okay. So the word karma is being thrown around a lot this season. Okay. As it relates to Kenya Moore. So basically Nene kept saying it on Watch What Happens Live. This is Kenya's karma for A, B, and C. As she's listing all of these things, some of them are just straight up lies, okay? I'm not even going to get into it. And so Kenya responded, you know, with this beautiful picture with our adorable Brooklyn. This is my karma. And I was like, yes, and what a beautiful and adorable blessing she is, okay? So, another thing about this karma word being thrown around, um, you know, I know Kim Zosiak, she lies a lot. I'm going to put allegedly next to it, but yeah, she's a liar. So, I'm not saying this holds any weight, okay? But wasn't Nene on that reunion Scream me, I came, where is your scooter? You claim you had cancer, you didn't. Like basically just going in on her about her health and medical history and records and all of that. And what happened a few months later? Her husband was diagnosed with cancer. So does that mean that was Nini Karma for all of the mess she did on the show? What did the girls do? Did they go on Watch What Happens Live and laugh at her husband having cancer? Hell, even Kim Zosiak sent her presents, right? Everyone, Kenya, everyone rally around her and Greg called her, text her, put their differences aside because this was serious. So was that her karma for her husband having cancer? That's my point. But you know what? I just keep watching when all this ish that's going on behind the scene with her hit the fan. When the storyline about attacking the other girls no longer work. And she have to, you know, expose what's going on in her life to keep her peach. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Be careful with that word karma you throw around, okay? Because it comes right back to you. And that Nene, you disrespect your husband. You treat him like a kid. You talk down to him. If you, if you don't work, he doesn't eat. Like, you don't treat him like a man, okay? So, you won't understand what it looks like for a wife to be a wife and to respect her husband and to say, you know what, Mark? You want to act a fool, go ahead and do it by yourself. My marriage. If we have issues, we should be able to talk about it as adults or off camera and all of that. But I'm not going to do the yelling and back and forth with you in front of my co workers at different establishments. I'm not doing it. That doesn't mean she's weak, it just means I'm not going to join in the circles and become a clown with you. I'm not doing that. You know what I'm saying? We are at a charity event. I'm not about to go back and forth with you at a charity event and embarrass our household. You want to do that, do that all by yourself. So what Kenya represented is way more amazing and classy than what Nini will ever be, okay? Because she doesn't know better.
And so Kenya was actually vindicated on that episode and my review is coming because all you saw was an amazing and loving person and an amazing and loving wife. That's what you saw. It didn't matter what her husband did. She still held her head high when it said thank you to the girls and all of that. You know, Mark is the one who's, you know, acting like a fool. I'm not calling him a fool. He's behaving like one. You know what I'm saying? And so for the people laughing and dragging Kenya, she was actually amazing. The, her husband is the one being messy, not her. When she goes to work and, go, and goes back and forth with these girls, she's doing her job and that's it. So she can go back and forth with them. But her husband, listen, this is my family. This is serious. I'm not doing that on camera. And I respect her for that. Women who are so insecure and their self-esteem is not based on who they are and themselves. Their self-esteem is based on the fact that they have a man next to them. That's the reason why you see women tolerating, you know, all of the things that some of them are tolerating on that show just to say they have a man next to them. I have a husband. So everything that they've been going through behind the scenes and their marriage is going through it right now okay but oh no i am going to pretend to have this perfect marriage and everything is good and my husband loved me because remember they didn't have much of a comeback once kenya came back with a ring because like i said most of them on that show their worth is measured up to a man and this woman, Kenya Moore, have been on that show for years and have held her own without a man by her side. Everything she's established been because of Kenya Moore, okay? So for this woman to come on here, intelligent, beautiful, strong, no man next to her, and she is standing 10 toes down, and it could be five against one, and she's right there, you know, holding her own. They didn't like that. She never, ever measured her worth to a man okay i have a man great i want my happily ever after great but if that doesn't work out i'm still fine i'm kenya moore i was kenya moore before him i'll be kenya moore after you know what i'm saying so she never held her standards of who she is to a man but most of those girls did that was the biggest diss on that show for years you ain't got no husband and all of that so when she came back with a ring they didn't have much of a comeback so that's when the result are to, oh, your marriage is fake and all of that. They did not have much of a comeback. Now that she's having issues in her marriage, that's the only thing they have. So all of a sudden now, the woman who was, you know, suggesting open marriage and all of that is talking about, my marriage is perfect. My husband and I are great and all of these things. And it's like, you know what? They are always exposed, okay? And don't get me started on Milo because then we'll be here all night, okay? Like, Milo, girl, we, what man have we seen on the show? With you? Really, you can't even bring them in public, you know, because they belong to somebody else. But yet, you're fixing your mouth to say that someone can't keep a bed at A, B, and C. And that's why I'm not even focusing on her because I'm just like, girl, you don't even have a place to talk. Everything this woman have, you want, okay? You want a kid, you want a marriage, you want a man, you want someone who will publicly claim you and all of that. But we don't talk like that over here because like I always preach, a man or no man, you are worthy, you are more than enough, you are everything by yourself. And a man coming in your life, he's just adding to the already amazing you. Life doesn't end without one. Speaking of Milo, I want to touch on this real quick. You can hear more in my review that will be posted soon. But let's read this comment. I don't know why you're mad at her, meaning Kenya. You have to pay for seats and Milo didn't pay for two extra seats. She just brought them to a charity event where you have to pay for seats. Like, come on, people. You have to have more sense than this okay i love this comment right here they just want to hate on kenya didn't mark say he switched the seats or something to that effect thank you that's my point people are so blinded by hate for kenya more that they are losing the common sense and i say that all the time on the episode you saw her husband started to switch things around last minute and seating was one of it so all of the confusion and things that you saw was Mark Daly fault because his wife had it. She handled everything. Had he just fell back and allowed her to take the lead, 
like he came back to her with his friends and the men from the organization that asked for her help because he realized he was in way over his head and he couldn't do it. That's all he had to do. But once again, he had to be Mark Daly. So all of the issues you saw and the people having, you know, paper and name holder and all of that was because Mark jumped in and said, you know, I got this cover. I got that cover. And then at the last minute, he didn't. And then Kenya took the blame for it. So when Milo walked in, all Kenya knew was Milo paid for her seat, not for her nephews, okay? So in the middle part of a speech, she's asking for a seat. Kenya is like, am I about to talk to you back and forth in the middle part of an organization event? Kenya pointed to an empty table that had three seats. She didn't see anybody sitting there. And she said, oh, you can sit over there since you brought plus two. Then Milo got upset because she couldn't sit with the group. But that's not how the seating arrangement went. And you never said you were bringing your nephews, even though, you know, she said she did. What I do believe is that Milo threw a fit and went crazy at that event. But because Bravo have a narrative and, you know, Kenya have to be painted in a certain light, of course, they did not show all of the extra things that Milo did. That girl did not just walk out of that event peacefully for Portia and everyone to chase her. It was bigger than that, okay? And that's why Kenya got upset. She didn't get upset about Milo bringing her nephews. She got upset about Milo making a big deal out of nothing because Kenya wasn't rude to her at all. Those boys are innocent. Kenya is not upset with those innocent babies. She was upset that Milo tried to make a mountain out of nothing just because she's been desperately looking for a moment. Please tell me, since Kenya Moore brought a band to Milo event, please tell me any other memorable moments and events you've seen Milo in this season. The only reason why she was a part of the Snake Gate was once again who was the person that was trending and leading that, Kenya Moore, because Kenya jumped in to defend her friend. Apart from that, we don't even know Milo is there this season. You know what I'm saying? So once again, Kenya Moore is everybody's storyline. Just in case you missed that, let me repeat myself, okay? For the people who are going to say, well, Kenya, you brought a band and disrupted her event. She actually brought her nephews. That's what I'm saying. Kenya Moore wasn't mad at Milo nephews. She wasn't mad at Milo being there. She was happy that Milo was there and Milo bringing her boys is the whole point of the organization anyways. She was just like, why are you once again trying, okay, to make it seem like I have an issue with you when I don't? You want a moment so badly. You came to this event. I said, hi. You asked him where to sit. I pointed where you can sit with your nephews since you did not make three payments for all of you to sit together. You did not like where I wanted you to sit because it wasn't next to the girls and in a group and people that you are comfortable with. I understand. And that was it. And Kenya continued with, you know, her moment and then she saw all the girls running out and all of this commotion going on at the event so i will understand if kenya was like oh my god what is she doing here kick her out kick her nephews out she doesn't belong here security then you can say oh i can believe kenya got mad let's move on i do have on instagram as well and she posted these heavily filtered images you know her weights snatch they didn't look that way on tv and just all of that and she wrote you girls could never okay so this person responded could never what you pride yourself on tearing down other black women and having fun with it you're sick thank you Okay, yeah, Milo were really irritating. That's what she meant. Wear on Bravo, she tacked Andy show. Y'all looked real childish. That's how you know Kenya Moore matters, and y'all just jealous because she looks better and could take your nah. Kenya don't want Greg. Kenya didn't want any of those men on that show. Okay, don't get it twisted. Um, self-proclaimed. Please don't remind us. It sounds childish at this point. 
you're looking like Kim Zosiak's sister from another mister. New face, okay? Which people will stop with the filters? So fake. So sad me and my husband saw her in Sugar Mills Mall and just speaking to her made her roll her eyes in disgust. I mean, we've heard this all the time we're doing too much to your face don't do nothing else to it nini <laughs> didn't like how you behaved on bravo last night could never what put on a wig and a whole lot of makeup hapo who this woman okay so that's the reaction from people of course you have comments in there from our supporters and all of that absolutely can you more answer questions about nini all the time in interviews can you more throw shades in interviews towards nini on the watch what happens live and all of that but here's the difference between nini leaks and kenya more or milo or any of them okay kenya answer her questions she laugh and she move on you can see it i'm not just saying this because i support the girl i'm just talking in general terms that even people who don't rock with Kenya were leaving these comments all over social media, okay? Kenya will answer her questions and she will move on. You can see how she's not bothered at all by Nini and the girls, okay? She answered her questions, she move on, she laugh about it. You, it's not, you can see it that it's not really that deep for her. There's no hatred. It's a simple, when someone show you who they are, believe them, I see you, I'm not interested. Thank you for all of the 150 olive branches that you've sent my way. I send them right back. I don't want it. And that's why Nini is upset. Nini is highly upset because she feels like she's the queen. She's the HBIC. She's this, that, and the third. And the fact that to her, she had to come down, okay, from her throne to send all of these olive branches to Kenya Moore. And for Kenya to turn around and say, I see through you. I see your games. I'm not interested. Listen, we can be in the same room together if it's a Bravo event and we all have to be in the same room together. Great. You are my coworker, but I don't want nothing to do with you. And she's not used to that. She's used to being emotionally and verbally abusive. Okay. The people apologizing be it fake or real and then those people come running right back and then she would do it all over again have you seen how nasty she and kim have been to each other kim zosiak i mean it's been disgusting but who did she say she want to come back on the show she said kim okay and she said they're in a good place it's just that they can't work together same thing with the other girls who will want to subject themselves to that type of abuse where every time we're not in good terms you go there you go below the belt like so kenya is like you know what you've shown me who you are i'm not interested take care girl have a good life let me tell you how bothered nene leaks is of kenya Moore. andy cohen was giving her a compliment someone called in about black history month okay and andy cohen decided to give nene a compliment that his friend Anderson Cooper went to the museum and saw her in there. Nene starts talking about how she's the queen, she's iconic, she's this, that, and the third. That situation had absolutely nothing to do with Kenya Moore. She was, they were complimenting her, okay? Guess what Nene says? I have the crown and Kenya had the tiara. Even in the moment where they're uplifting you and giving you compliments, you have to talk about Kenya. That's how bothered she is. And you could see the look on Andy's face and even the look on Milo's face. They were like, was that even necessary? Like, girl, we know Kenya got a real crown, literally. And Kenya Moore is a part of history forever. That's no argument. So, but this is a simple case of, you know, a guy say, what's up, girl? You look nice. The girl is not interested. And the same guy, he was trying to be nice, turned right around and say, you know, bleep you, like F you. Nobody wanted your ugly A word anyways. Now, some of you might say, Vena, it's not that deep. It's just entertainment. It's just a reality TV show. Stop trying to be Nini's spiritual advisor. Stop trying to be her counselor and all of that. But I'm telling you all, okay? Nini, Marlo, and Kenya 
all three of them have experienced the worst type of rejection that you will ever experience in your life and that is a parent not wanting you okay nini was adapted milo went to foster care and was adapted from that and we already know kenya moore's story her grandmother adapted her there are people who knows how to deal with it and move on and understand this life and there are people who don't know how to deal with it and are still holding on to a lot of pain nini is one of those people she doesn't like rejection and whenever she doesn't get her way then she just become undone and goes crazy and that's one of the things that's going on with nini basically how dare you reject me kenya i've reached out to you i've went above and beyond how dare you reject me you think you are missed that 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 and so now that she feels that hurt from kenya rejecting her because kenya sees through her and wants no parts of you know her now she wants blood they have such an amazing story or three of them and you know had it not go to the place that it went all three of them would have had a beautiful moment on this show but some of the things that's been said and the low blows you just can't come back from that you just can't you know respect those people or be their friend so i completely understand kenya distancing herself you know from that nonsense i love to involve social media into my reviews so i also saw more comments on well tweets on twitter and comments on youtube and other places so i'm going to go ahead and read them and end the video i'm enjoying this episode of watch what kenya moore happens live though LL. Kenya Moore is obviously Mother Peach on this season. Hashtag Red House of Atlanta and Nini can't stand it. Watch what happens live. These two are so miserable. Even Andy was low key tired of all the negativity they were spewing. LOL. Nini is spent. Can't stand her. Guess the olive branches got tossed out the window. And he doesn't seem here for Nini. No key keying today. It seemed like Annie asked more questions about Kenya to Nini than about her own self, shaking my head. Nini is clearly on the same one she was on the night of her pajama party. Nini is trying way too hard here. Chill says she's scared as bleep. Jeez, they are so bothered by Kenya's presence. Kenya is living in their head rent free. Kenya is living rent free inside Nini's head. All night, Kenya, Kenya, Kenya. That's pathetic. Nini and Milo, whole storyline existence on Red House of Atlanta is about Kenya. Shaking my head. Get a life, ladies. Hashtag watch what happens life. It seems like Nini is going after Kenya just to maintain relevance. This entire episode may as well be a 30 mini commercial for Kenya Moore hair care. Like, how are you going to be a guest on a show and be focused solely on someone you both claim to dislike? This was just wow. Hashtag Warehouse of Atlanta. Hashtag Watch What Happens Live. And stop getting so bothered by me. I love that. Someone like Candy would never. Nini and Milo both have businesses. I would have been talking up my boutique and wig line respectfully. Candy would have plugged OLG, her boutique, you know, her YouTube channel, the newest line of Mama Joyce wigs. <laughs> Not Mama Joyce wigs. Oh my God. And everything. <laughs> <laughs> laughing my bleep of kenya is nini's story like this season she's literally all she's been talking about since greg doesn't have that cancer anymore and it'd be letting nini get away with murder on watch what happens live now if kenya would have done that same stunt nini and mala just pulled exactly all right nini is the last one trying to fix their mouth to cause someone a bleep a buffalo mm-hmm that episode was all about Kenya. I mean, all of it. They need to raise her pay. What else would they have to talk about without her? I'm just saying. Hashtag watch what happens live. Meaning the little ounce of love I had for you went out the door. You are evil. Anybody that laughs at someone else's pain is straight 
up evil period hashtag watch what happens live okay i don't know if nini want to challenge kenya at the reunion kenya gonna eat sis alive uh nini is on 10 tonight she's been whining on twitter and ig for the last two months and complaining about bravo and annie now she's on watch what happens live acting a pump fool Okay, so I'm going to stop there because there's more, but most of you are aware by now I know that Nene Leakes and Milo were on Watch What Happens Live, if you notice. And he also had Tanya and Portia on there, regardless if he wanted Tanya to feel comfortable and, you know, so he had Portia. I'm just saying he loved bringing other people on that he knows get along with the other person is this one big kiki but then when it comes to kenya more he wants to put her up on there with people he knows that's not going to get along with her and that's why he was mad a few weeks ago because mj actually love kenya more okay i have never seen a watch what happens live like that before where the entire episode was about somebody else. I understand people calling in, asking questions here and there, and then people plugging their businesses and doing the, you know, this and the third, but I've never seen it where every, almost every single question and everything had to do with Kenya Moore, even when it wasn't about her to the point where you could see Andy becoming irritated because he don't like Kenya. So he was like, okay, now let's not give kenya this big head like she runs stuff now we're talking about her too much but nini kept bringing her up <laughs> it was it was a hot mess i'm wishing them the best the end of here my friend i love thank you all for your love and support if you're not subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to the channel go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up also turn on notifications so when I do post you where they're posted and I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day guys. God bless you.